I'm stuck in an old timey TV. I'm really stuck. I'm really stuck. I'm really stuck. And someone help me. Super simple to set up. Everything that you need is down in the description below on the GitHub post. Download the zip, extract it, and let's get started. There's going to be a few things that you need as well. So of course you need streamer bot, you need OBS, no Streamlabs will work with this. You need the OBS shader filter, OBS plugin, link for that is also down below. And as well, a link over to Andy Lippy's video and how to install it. You're going to need the stream effects plugin, which is also linked down below. You're also going to need the source copy plugin because that basically just makes all this basically a one click for you guys. And then last but definitely not the least is a shader file that was given to me by a member of the streamer bot community called Hyperstrike. It's basically just a better shader file for the type of glitching effect rather than just like the static just scan lines and VHS. We're going to walk through now exactly how to get all this done. Once you have all those downloaded and set up, restart your OBS and then you want to commit to tools, go down to source copy and we're going to load a scene. From here then navigate to where you extracted the zip file from the github page and you should see this json file here then oldtimer streamer obs scene.json i'm gonna double click on that and now over here on your obs you should have oldtimer streaming here from here then you most likely just have a black screen that's completely fine we're going to double click on this right here i'm going to make sure that this is set to where the image is for the tv which is right here then you can see here that there's two change me's so that's called 420 cam ignore that what you want to do is just double click on it and go over here to your source and you can set this to basically be your webcam scene or just your cam source in general i have one here called full cam scene so i'm going to do that and here we can see that i'm glitching and we're already cropped right down here nicely. Now, you probably won't be glitching from the very start. Completely fine. Just right click on the cam, change me, go into filters. Inside of this glitch one right here, click on the shader text file and click browse. This is basically where your OBS shader filter files are. So what you want to do is go to where this folder was extracted again and take this glitch.shader. There you just copy and paste it in this folder. Once you do that, then this will start loading and all the settings should come back. Then you basically just want to do the same thing for the screen. So we're going to double click on the gameplay screen in the source. We're going to set this to my game. I literally just have a scene called screen scene. So I'm going to select that. Stuff's going to get a little weird here. But as we can see now, once I zoom out, this is basically how it works. As you could hear as well, that I also had a voice filter being affected and that's thanks to voice mod. So voice mod is really, really cool. You can set up different voices to basically do whatever you want. I'm just using a stock one here called Radio Demon. And just to tie all of this together, I'm using streamer bot to trigger everything and do everything for us. And then we can also set this up to be a channel point, a follow alert. You can make it happen however you want. If you don't have voice mod, you haven't paid for it. You have no intention of using it. It's completely fine. You don't have to use it. It's just a nice little extra little touch. We're basically going to do the exact same thing here. So you're going to open up your streamer button. You're going to press the import button. Go back to that folder that you extracted. And then you should see the old timer streamer dot streamer bot. That's exactly what we want here. This streamer bot file. So we're going to select that. We're just going to drag it right into here where it says import stream. And then boom, old time streamer. That action is right there. We're going to press import. And this is basically it right here. So it's going to detect where your current scene is. So that way, once this is over, it'll just go back to where it was. And then again, here's all the settings for the voice mod too. Again, if you're not using voice mod, you know, you can just completely ignore it. So I already have it set up here. So basically all you have to do is just right click and select add. Then so I just called the old timer streamer, made sure it's enabled, cost 1300 points on my stream. If you want to use this with YouTube and our YTC or Chrome extensions, basically brings you channel points over to YouTube. You just have to make it into the same group as the YTC or, and just set the action. It's a really cool way that we can actually test all this as well. So on streamer.bot, we can just go in here and sign in if you're not signed in go to decks head over create a deck if you haven't already then i have one here and this literally just tests it this is a great way just to troubleshoot alerts and stuff like that while you're still making stuff but let's click this button and see what happens yeah and there we go and as we can see the voice mod should have switched over the voice changer is happening so you're listening to me all sorts of weird right now but um yeah wacky waving inflatable owl flailing chew man wacky waving inflatable owl flailing blah blah blah, blah. and then there we go it just brings us back to the scene that we were just on <laughs> I hope this helps give some of you guys just some ideas and some more things to do. I know you guys love the alerts and just the overlays that I make, so that's why we're here, right? <laughs> if you want to show me some support, make sure you check out my coffee link down below. You can help support me and just Gazelle in general. And hey, we'll see you next one. Bye